Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff is with us. It's so great to have you here this evening. Thank you for making the time. Thank you. We just heard uh, before the break from former Senator Barbara Boxer, who described almost a, a tectonic shift that she viscerally felt today. I, I rarely like to ask this question, but it seems like the right one to ask you. How has today felt to you? Well, it's felt wonderful. Uh, it seemed like a fitting metaphor that uh, we went from snow early in the inauguration uh, to sunshine. Uh, and it was as if a, a weight had been lifted. Um, the, the president uh, spoke beautifully and optimistically. He talked about uh, restoration uh, of our country and renewal. Uh, he talked about bringing the country together, about unity and purpose. Uh, American resilience uh, and reminded us of our better selves uh, and also promised us a better future. So it was hard not to be uplifted by what we saw today. And I have to tell you, there was palpable relief and not just among Democrats, I think among Republicans also, that here was an opportunity to make a new beginning. Yeah. Not too long ago, uh, you tweeted, there is no time to waste. You've outlined some of the goals that what you hope to see for this administration. Can you give us a sense of what, especially us here in Southern California, what we can expect to see out of both Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Vigorous pursuit of this virus. Uh, and we saw that from the executive orders that began on day one, uh, implementation of a requirement of wearing masks on federal lands and federal buildings. Uh, there'll be none of this mixed messaging uh, of the last four years. We will follow the science. Uh, you'll see expedited uh, manufacture, I hope, uh, of the vaccines. And you will certainly see federal support for the, the distribution of those vaccines, help to states uh, so that those vaccines don't sit on shelves, that they end up in people's arms ASAP. Uh, and a, an effort to get our schools open, get our businesses open, uh, and get this terrible pandemic behind us. I, I think that is the most urgent priority, uh, and you can expect to see the administration working on that day and night. And what of now private citizen Donald Trump? In, in your eyes, what can and what should happen next? Well, you don't have to say that I think there was also palpable relief. Uh, when the, the tweets, the, the presidential tweets came to an end a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I think that the former president should give the new president some space. Uh, let him govern, let him uh, lead. Uh, and, uh, you know, he seemed to have enjoyed a lot of time as president on the golf course. Go spend some more time on the golf course now. Um, I think that would be a good use of uh, former President Trump's time. But Congressman Schiff, a, a lot of folks, there's varying opinions out there in terms of, is there any sort of uh, pursuit of, of uh, justice that we should, is it a time to, to unify and heal and kind of move on for this moment? Or indeed, should there be some sort of punishment for what has happened specifically, what happened just two weeks ago today in the Capitol? Your thoughts? Well, I think that there's a need uh, for justice uh, as well as a need for reconciliation. Uh, without an accounting of what took place, uh, I don't think there was any true uh, reconciliation and healing. Um, we still have a trial uh, to go forward uh, in terms of the president's uh, responsibility for inciting that insurrection. Uh, there are others, uh, uh, perhaps even including the president, uh, that the Justice Department will need to look at in terms of criminal law or civil liability. Uh, those processes have to go on. I am confident that Joe Biden will leave those decisions to the Justice Department, to Merrick Garland, uh, unfettered by White House interference. Uh, and, and so I don't know that you can say it should be all one way or the other. I think that we're going to have to uh, handle these issues on a case by case basis. But we do need to come to grips with our past, uh, even as we want to come together and focus on the future. Adam Schiff represents California's 28th Congressional District. Thank you always, sir, for your time. We appreciate it.